All right, well, welcome back, Creative Warriors, for another installation of some of the wisdom that I want to depart that I have learned that I think is just incredible. So today I'm going to talk about the six ways to steamroll gossip, blame, and making excuses and all that other junk that's just no good. So I think the most important thing is remembering Gandhi's wisdom to be the change that you wish to see in the world. So I think the reason that he brought that up is to kind of mention to us that we have to first look at the skeletons in our closet before we can look to others to, to place blame. In fact, I think one of the best ways of, of looking at that or remembering that is that every time that you're pointing the finger at somebody, there are three fingers pointing right back at you. So I think that a lot of times uh, we need to remember Carl Jung's shadow effect, which is just the idea that the things that really stir us up and really get us frustrated about others are usually the things that we carry on the most that we haven't identified in ourselves. So think about that when you're getting really angry with your parents and it's the most frustrating thing in the world and it's probably because you probably take that on and do that yourself and just haven't even realized it. So just think about that and how that plays into your relationships with your family and whatnot. In fact, I have, um, I would say about two years ago, um, my last relationship, I had a beautiful girlfriend who was just lovely and loved her pizza. Um, great, great kid. And... Um, I was the quintessential like plant-based whole foods health nut and you know I would make faces every time that she like stuck it stuck her teeth into you know a big juicy bite of uh, you know whatever that I knew that I wasn't supposed to be eating but then on the flip side on weekends or like on one day a week I had my cheat day and I would just go absolutely nuts um, to the point where um, it was probably pretty unhealthy and so luckily I've been able to try to scale that back but um, just realizing that I had those demons inside me and that's why it really set me off even more when she would eat inappropriately and realizing that that's not cool. So that's uh, number one is shadow. So realizing shadow effect. Uh, just to be empty, yo, that's number two. So just realizing that in, in Buddhism there's this concept of emptiness, that everything does has no inherent meaning, that everything is neither good nor bad, and that we have a perception of it and that's what makes it good or bad so in our mind we see a breakup as good or bad and the people that are going to be optimistic are going to see that as you know if this is an opportunity for me to grow and to change and to be a better person and to find new people you know obviously the bad being oh woe is me you know i'm a victim to the situation kind of thing um taking that even one step farther for rule number three um nothing that anyone does has anything to do with me thinking about that that i am independent of the good or bad opinions of others, as Deepak Chopra says. So just remembering that we are completely void or have no real reason to get caught up in what other people are thinking or saying. And so it's our choice to take on what other people are saying. And if other people are saying bad things about us or, um, or yeah, basically we don't have to take that on, but, but we can. And if we do, then that's where the emptiness comes in and we take on the bad stuff. Number uh, four now, uh, we are all on our own journey. So just remembering that our loved ones, especially our loved ones, are all on their own journey. So not taking it as, as a personal you know, hit when they're not doing exactly what we do because they may be on their own personal path that they're trying to get to to figure out um, exactly where you are. And maybe, maybe they're actually farther than we are and we don't even see it. Um, and then I think the best way to deflect that is to shower them with gratitude. So take those people and give them all the love and support that you can give them and in a way that, that's, that's completely non-judgmental and that's completely coming from a compassionate and loving standpoint, realizing that they are taking their time and that they will make it there eventually. And then lastly, take five to ten minutes a day and meditate. Obviously, this is huge, huge, huge. We all know about meditation, but just taking five minutes every day to center yourself, get ready for the day, um, finding that moment of awareness where it's uh, there's that little slice from uh, the the cause to the effect. So there's that thing that causes us to flare up and taking that split second to be aware and say, no, you know what, I'm not going to just react off impulse, but instead I'm going to make a skillful choice. So that is it this week, guys. Thank you so much. Have an incredible week, creative warriors, and be creative and be incredible warriors. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great week.